welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is meg i do fashion lifestyle videos today i'm doing a vlog and i am so excited because i feel like vlogs are just not that i have to be serious in my hauls and my other videos but i feel like your personality and who you are as a person comes across a lot more in vlogs so i feel like i need to do more of these so basically i thought i'd take you through the whole process of how a collaboration works so today we're going to pick out some pieces from naked fashion if you are not new to my channel you will know that i am a naked fashion stan <laughs> I absolutely love their stuff and yeah I'm so excited to be working with them again they have so many amazing autumn and winter pieces so I'm really really excited all the way through to receiving my goods trying them on taking the content and what that looks like and then uploading my content first though I need coffee it's a Saturday I've had a lion feeling a bit sluggish so I need something to wake me up so let's make a coffee Right, so I'm gonna grab my laptop and let's start looking through the items. Right, so my setup is I have my laptop and I also have my planner just so I can write out the specifics of the content brief to make sure I'm meeting the budget, to make sure I'm meeting the item specifications because a lot of times with collabs, you'll have certain ranges that you're able to pick from and also checking the dates to plan ahead on when the content is due. Funnily enough, this actual video is the deliverable for the project. So the second part of the video where you see the items and how I sell them, that will be the key deliverable for this project. But equally, if you are looking to get into micro-influencing, hopefully this gives you an idea of like how you manage your projects, especially when you've got multiple at once, because especially around Christmas time, I know that I am managing multiple collabs. And it's so important that before accepting them, make sure you've got the time in your diary to actually do this content. Make sure that you've got the resources that you need to make high quality content, whether that's lighting. In the winter especially, it's so hard because the lighting obviously gets worse as it gets darker. So there's so many things you have to consider that you probably wouldn't if you haven't really done it before. But yeah, let's stop blabbing and let's start looking. So like I said, with a lot of fashion collabs, including Naked Fashion, I have to select from a certain landing page. So these are items that are picked out specifically for content creators ooh, to choose from. <laughs> and I always spend so long going through these pages because there's so many options and they're all so versatile. And I always look to pick pieces that I know I can wear again and again. This year specifically, I'm really after a trench coat because I've not actually had one in years. And I feel like whilst I love my puffers, I'd love to have like a more feminine coat to go with some of my workwear specifically. See, this is why it's so hard there's just too much to choose from <gasps> oh my god i love this color like how beautiful is that like a lot of my apartment is based off this color so oh my god and it would go a lot with like my blacks and my browns and my beiges which i have a lot of in my wardrobe so i'm gonna add that to my basket and then i have 50 pounds left to spend guys i found the one <laughs> again it is neutral because I just feel like it's so versatile and it goes with everything. This is, oh my God, yeah, absolutely. And it's on sale, so that's a plus. I've had to settle on this top. It's so nice for like a slightly dressy, sophisticated top, but it's just so unique. Like I love the way that the, what's it called? Sleeve, shoulder, The sh it's like a cold shoulder, but only on one side, absolutely love it. Yeah, oh my God, I'm actually so excited. What the heck, I did not know. Whoa, they've got like unique prints. I've been looking for like, well, I want my house to basically end up looking like a gallery, to be honest. I do have a lot of prints, but I feel like I could never say no to another one. It's gonna have to be that one, isn't it? I mean, it matches the theme, I feel like, very well. Like, can you already see the vision? Mm. Hi, tripod. Um, I think that's gonna have to be a yes. The order is complete, officially and it took me about an hour. I'm such an indecisive person, especially when there's so much good stuff on offer, I just, I can't, I can't rush that decision. So this stuff will probably come in about five days, so I'm planning on getting the content next weekend. So yeah, I think next time I film will be in a week's time and I will show you, oh, there's someone outside, hey. I'll show you what I get and how I style it and how I got all the content and the fun side of things. Not that this wasn't fun, but yeah, hopefully that gives you an insight into the beginning of a collaboration process. I will see you guys in a week and thank you for staying tuned so far and not getting bored of my rambling voice. Bye. My puzzle's in.
this is her, this is she. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unbox it for you on camera and then of course I'm gonna try on the pieces and then we'll head out with my boyfriend who I'm holding captive to get content of me like he does every time because what are boyfriends for? <gasps> the item I was most excited about, the coat. The colour is just as beautiful in person. And by the way, guys, if you do like any of these pieces, you can get 30% off, including sale, which is amazing. But you do have to be signed in as a new customer, so make sure that you do create an account and then you can access the full discount. This discount will only last a week and I will put the code in my description and I'll also put the expiry date just to make sure that you can get your discount on time. But yeah, so this is the coat. I have to say, this is like the most high quality heavy coat that I have felt from like a trench coat perspective. Like it just feels luxury. And obviously because the price was over a hundred, it literally matches that to a T. Like it's it's heavy, it's quite, it feels quite structured. Like it doesn't feel flimsy. And of course, because it's a trench coat, it is very, very long, which is amazing. Um, it doesn't have a tie, because I usually have ones that have ties, but I feel like I could put a belt around it, like just one of my own belts, if I want it to be cinched in. But I am really intrigued to see how it's gonna look as just like an oversized trench coat, like not done up. And I got this in a 36. Don't ask me what that is in UK. You might have to Google it. I think I got like a 10 or an eight. On to the next. <gasps> so next up is the, was it a dress? I think it was a jumpsuit that I ordered. Again, I got I got this in a small. Yeah, this is a halter neck body, body suit, jumpsuit, bit of both. Oh, the material, I wasn't sure what the material was gonna be like because my body can just be very easily flattered but very easily looks awful as well. So I have to be really careful with the materials I go for, but this one, feels really nice like this is it close up again the color is beautiful it's kind of like a mocha caramelly mocha but more cool toned and then you've got the halter neck straps here and then it does go down quite low on the back which is something that i'm really excited to see so next is the top that i got um the top was an extra small um this is the black top if you guys remember it was like the one that was quite unique so i think one of the arms is here and then one's up here and i just I love tops that are a bit unique, but they're not wild. Like you can still wear them for like a sophisticated meal or something, but it's just a bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to put that on. I'm hoping it's not gonna be confusing to put on because I feel like sometimes when like when I try and put things on that are a bit more complicated, they end up like stuck around my neck with like my arm out the wrong hole. But yeah, this is, ooh. Oh, I feel like that's gonna look so nice, like a pair of leather jeans. I'm gonna style it because I wanna keep it on the vibe of naked fashion. I will style it with my gorgeous brown trousers that I wear literally every day um, because I think that's a very nice look. And then my print came, I'm so excited, oh my God, because I've never had anything from the home section of Naked Fashion. I feel like a lot of people probably haven't because I just didn't know that they did that, but oh my God, it's big. What? Oh my God, that is huge. And I know exactly where this can go because like I say, I've got a lot of prints already that I need to put up but in the hall I've got like a set area that has like a big space next to our coat rack and it would just be such a statement piece in there like as you walk in you'd see it so I might pop to town and get a frame for it I might put it up first without and see what I think and then if I need a frame I will get one but um that's really good considering how big it is but let's go and try the pieces on this is how I get changed it's like I have to duck because I forget there's so many windows directly opposite me in my new apartment so I've got to be a little secret bean. I haven't even seen this like as a long length and I can already tell that I'm obsessed with it. First off, let's talk about the neckline. Beautiful. This would be so nice for like a holiday or something. But equally, I did get this for when I go to Liverpool because I need like some sort of nice, sophisticated, but a bit different outfit. And I feel like this is the one. I'm a bit cold, so I feel like I probably would need nipple covers. So I'm kind of just gonna center that out. Um, but I do think if it is a warm day, you probably won't. Or, or hashtag free the nip. Oh, it's not actually that bad. Of course you can't wear a bra with this because it does go down. Um, but that's just to pre-warn you if you are someone that has to wear a bra, get some sticky tabs. Um, let's move back. Oh, this shape is giving. Oh my God. I don't know how far to move back because I can't really see myself now. So yeah, this is the full length. It is absolutely stunning. And then this is the back, so it's very like low. And then you've got this part at the top as well. Hello besties, I am just editing in bed fun times um but just wanted to point out that the reason I'm awkwardly having my hand over the back of the jumpsuit is because there was unfortunately a hole in it. 
and at the time I wasn't fully sure like if I was meant to include the item not mention it wait for something else to be sent and they did get back to me and said like massive apologies for this um they are gonna let me have a new piece when we do like another project so like an extra piece um but yeah I may well order the same thing again because I did really like it but yeah that's why my hand is like covering the back angle but the back angle would be so nice if that rip wasn't there <laughs> okay bye back to editing um so yeah I absolutely love this and comfort wise it is so comfortable it's very airy and it's like it's to your body but it's not like it doesn't feel like shapewear it's not restrictive at all so you have got room to blow if you want to not that I'd want to blow in something like this but you can just tie a shirt around your waist or something that's always a good hack but I'm thinking let's try this with the coat because they're similar vibes I don't know if they necessarily look right together because it's slightly different shades but let's do it oh my god someone bury me in this jacket this colour is everything let me do another spin. This is how long it is. So very, very, very long. Comes to just halfway down on my lower leg, um, which is, I think, pretty typical for a trench coat. But yeah, it just feels just very luxury is all I can say. Like, it feels more structured than, like, I feel like some trench coats are very, like, mouldable. But because this one is oversized, it just kind of hangs off you. It's very cosy, but it's not too hot at the same time. So I feel like it's perfect for this type of year. If you want to, like, a polar neck, turtle neck with it, that's what I was planning to do. I think especially having a black contrast would be incredible. But yeah, so, oh, guys, I'm literally obsessed. Um, so yeah, I fully recommend this coat if you are after a new winter coat and I feel like the colour is quite unique Like I didn't really find any more coats of this particular shade and it's like my favourite, don't mind my nails <laughs> It's like my favourite shade at the moment. Like it's like a mockery cool tone stone. Got no words. No words. So now we are on to the last piece which is this gorgeous top and I would actually say it's my favourite thing out of everything. Also don't mind the lighting. It's literally like 11am and because it's winter I cannot get much daylight at all. Like I literally have to be up at nine, um, which we don't do on a Sunday. <laughs> um, but yeah, absolutely adore this top. It's everything I need and more. It's like a top that you can wear to feel comfortable in when going for like food or drinks with like a pair of trousers or maybe like leather trousers would be quite cool. Um, or like a skirt or what else could you wear this with? Like some leather shorts. I don't, I'm not really into that, but that's just an idea but oh my god it's literally so comfortable and as I suspected I love like this oh I, I just want more things like this in my wardrobe and I know that I'm going to be wearing this for years to come so this one I cannot fault it at all can't remember what size I got it in but I will put it on the screen but all the labels are now off so I don't know <laughs> right so now um to get the outdoor content because I want to get some insta content um so I'm gonna drag my boyfriend and I might bribe him by getting coffee because we like to do that a lot if you're having a content day as a rule of thumb get a coffee make a day out of it because it can get a bit long when you're like mixing up outfits and things so just make the day fun you know make a full itinerary is that the right word yeah but let's go Hello again, so just to preface this, I am about to have a mild concussion because I was too busy vlogging and whacked my head quite aggressively into a lamppost. Um, so just moral of the story, don't vlog, ever. Had two days off work, it was traumatic. The light is beautiful. God damn. Okay. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Guys, I'm dead. I just whacked my head into a lamppost <laughs> and now I've got a big bump on my head. Whoa! Oh, my and because I'm a hypochondriac, I was like googling, like, do you have to go to A&E? And I was like, well, what if I pass out? Am I going to have a concussion? Am I going to die? Oh my God, it, Reese, it's huge. So we've chosen this nice secluded spot to do our little photo shoot. The lighting's good. There's no awkward shadows or sun. And most importantly, there's no people. <laughs> <laughs> if you have this. So yeah, as you'll know, if you're a content creator or just any person that has a photo, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The key is to switch up your poses every few clicks to make sure you're getting a range. Good. 
And I also recommend the burst feature on iPhone where you can just take like millions of photos in a few seconds. I don't know what, we'll just make it a few We're gonna do something. We're gonna do something on the tip tap. Flip flap. Over and out. <laughs> So this is quite funny because Reese was telling me to do like a flip with my coat in the TikTok and I was like, no, that's stupid. But it ended up being what I did, so. I'm here, creative director. We're having a creative um, discussion. It's not very creative, to be honest. We need um, the final clip for the reel. A tip though, if you are doing a lot of reels, create like a storyboard so you're not having this last minute struggle. <laughs> We're about to get run over. Um, don't know. Back the back of the coat would be we, yeah, good. Yeah, we need to do the little... Okay, let's try it. He has a concept and I'm not... Yeah, like Batman. You know Batman do the cape flip. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to our vlog. Um, this is and our first time ever. Um, this is my boyfriend after proceeding to tell him you can't swear in a YouTube video because you will be demonetized and I won't get my money. Thanks, Reese. That's freaking dope, bruh. Yeah. Uh, Hello guys, so it is a few days later and I am now editing my content. To be honest, this is the longest process I have to say. For, for TikTok editing, not so much like that could probably take like an hour. But for editing things like YouTube videos, that can sometimes take me like 10 hours, depending on the nature of the video. But I feel like a lot more goes into editing than people actually realise. And that's why being a content creator, especially on YouTube, I really rate people that do that because... It does take a lot of time and I do see it as like a proper job, but I think, yeah, it is quite a hidden aspect that people don't get to see the ins and outs of. But I'm going to be editing my reel because the content for the YouTube video, I'm filming it right now, so I can't edit it just yet. But I'm first going to have a mooch on my phone to find a TikTok audio that I like, um, that kind of fits the vibe of the video and what I'm trying to achieve, like the whole vision. So yeah, I'm going to find a cute song and then I'm going to piece it together with some nice transitions. So I'm just going to quickly show you on my editor how I create a reel um, in terms of the actual dimensions because obviously the media dimensions are different across platforms. So I'm going to put naked fashion reel just so I know what it is. It's so hard to type while I'm filming. <laughs> and then I will change the format to custom. Then I have to change the dimensions to 1080 by 1920 and the rate to 60 rate is basically how fast the movements are so you want that to be in the highest and then i literally get my content and drag it in like so i use final cut um which i love but i kind of wish i did train myself up on adobe creative cloud adobe because it's more collaborative but let's not get into that but yeah let's edit My name is Kendall. I'm a model. My favorite part of my body is my height. Hello guys, I'm aware this is not the best outro. I haven't got it set up on a tripod. But I just wanted to come and say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed this. It was definitely a different style for me. But let me know if you want to see more of this type. Show more of the kind of behind the scenes of my life. And do not forget that if you sign in as a new customer, you can get money off your purchase. I'll leave the code and the expiry date in the description. So make sure to get it while it lasts. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.